So this is a femoral stem. Now it we've is. we've done a movie already, Lee, on a femoral ball. This is the part, the stem that goes into that, correct? It is. It is. So and where does all this go? Explain. Okay. So if you if you imagine you're having a new hip, if you like, you've got a, um, a hollowed out femur and, and a piece of metal inside your femur that's going to connect to a ball. Now we're all different shapes and sizes, aren't we? So we if are. you had just that connection, it, it, one size doesn't fit all. What this does is it allows the ball to be connected at this end, and then it allows this end to be connected into the, the, the metallic part that's inside your, your, your femur. Now, what the surgeon does is he tries out several of these until he finds the right one for your biomechanics so that your body moves perfectly. Then he connects you up, stitches you back. So what he's not having to do is make one in accordance with what you've got. He'll have a range or a selection of them with different sizes and it will be the size that fits that works. Yeah, he's got a big case with all these modular bits in and he fits them all and when he gets the right one, he, he assembles you back together again. Now, or she, or she, yeah. Now what I imagine here is that the connection between all of these uh, mating parts has to be absolutely spot on, doesn't it? So how do you go about doing that? And where are the tricky? There's two challenges, there's two challenges. Firstly, you've got to make them for a sensible cost, but you've got to make them very, very accurately. So inside the ball, there's a taper, tapered bore, if you like. This tapered cone here has to sit perfectly inside the ball. So we're looking at a couple of micron tolerances on this feature here. This non-round tapered feature here, if you like, this freeform feature also fits into the, the metallic part that's inside your femur. So this also has a couple of micron tolerance on it. Because that's quite a strange shape there. I mean, has that been designed in that way, I suppose, for, for the best way to put sure. the two together? So, so we, we, we build these to specification, but if you don't get those two parts right, then the, 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 the assembly won't fit. And how do you achieve that on something like this, this Boomer Tech 181 then? What's, what's the speciality of this machine that gives you these, um, these results? Well, the speciality of this machine is twofold. Firstly, it's its, it's, it's accuracy, so we can produce those features. But secondly, you've, you've got the ability on this machine to do Operation 1 and Operation 2 simultaneously. So we're machining the first half, if you like, from the, the main spindle, but then we're cutting the part off and transferring it down so it can be completed simultaneously whilst you start again. So we're reducing the cycle time, reducing the cost to produce them, but not compromising any of the accuracy.